Hey, what's up guys? Ninja here. Welcome back guys to a brand new Pixel movie review here on the channel today. Now before I start up with this Pixel review guys, if you guys are happy guys, I, I know guys, it's been a year. It's been like over a year since we did the last Pixel review, which I'm going to talk about that in just a sec, but yeah. Before I start up with this Pixel review guys, Make sure you guys go down below, hit that like button down below. Let's try to hit this video to 5 likes, if you could do that, that would be amazing. Also guys, if this is your first time here, then click that subscribe button down below. I need you guys' help, I'm trying to get this channel to 3,000 subscribers. Which right now, the last time I checked out, we are at 2,994 subscribers right now. That's the last time I checked. But when this video goes live, when you guys are watching this video right now, I'm hoping that when this video ends, uh, it will pass, we're already going to pass that. So if you guys could go down below and click that subscribe button to help me get this channel to 3000, uh, that would be amazing uh, and all of that stuff, so yeah. Also guys, hit that notification bell to never miss when I upload a video. Also share this video with your friends and the family. And make sure you guys go down below and go subscribe to my two other channels, links are in the description. So if you guys remember, and also guys, also guys, make sure you guys go down below, comment on this video, say, hey, I enjoyed this video, and I really enjoyed it, and all of that, and I really like uh, the movie that you're going to be reviewing, uh, and all of that. Just, uh, just leave a comment, and all of that, so yeah. If you guys remember my, in my last Pixar review, that was way back in like August of last year, and we, we, I, with you the guys and a metal that was like a that was like a that was like a year ago and all that but yep but today guys we are going to be with you and the brand new Pixar film that it's not really it, it, yeah it's brand new uh came out three months ago and I was a little bit late to the party for this one and that is Inside Out two so everyone says yeah but I want to let you guys know this will be a spoiler with you so. I know Inside Out 2 is on digital right now, and it's going to get on DVD, it will, it will be on Blu-ray next week, and all of that, but a lot of people who hasn't even seen Inside Out 2 yet, I want to let you guys know this will be my spoiler overview, my spoiler overview of the movie, so if you guys don't want to be spoiled about, if you guys don't want to be spoiled about Inside Out 2, make sure you guys click up now, because I'll be talking about a lot of things in this video, so... Yeah, so, Spoiler O starts up in 3, 2, 1, oh, Inside Out 2, oh my gosh. This movie has to be a masterpiece. This is like, one of the best films I have ever seen. I love the way how, I, I love the way how this film really goes. And the comic has the same rhythm of what the first film did, but a little bit more different a bit. But what I like about this film is... Riley is now a teenager, and she really goes to high school now, and all that, there's more new, new emotions, anxiety, embarrassment, ennui, and envy. Those are the four new emotions uh, in the movie, and all that. I enjoy how well this film was put together, and all that. And also, at the time we recorded this video, Inside Out 2 is the highest grossing animated film of all time. It's like, it's right now, if I remember, it's right now the time we record this video, the ninth highest grossing film, but it's going to be number 8 probably by the end of this week because uh, of, you know, the next film it has to pass is, is, uh, is Jurassic World, with that one is going to be beaten by Inside Out 2, and Inside Out 2 will be the 8th highest grossing film of all time. No other anim no other animated film could pass that, but yeah. But what I want to say about Inside Out 2 is, again, I just love the way how this film was made. And I just lo really love the way how they really put this together and all of that. Of course, the, this is a brand new director, it's not directed by Pete Doctor. And all that, that, but it, it, it's okay because it's a brand new director, and I can't believe that his very first film he ever directed has passed over 1.67. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I'm gonna say it like that right now, uh, over 1.6 billion, 1.66 billion dollars. He worked on Pixar before. I don't remember his name, but he worked on Pixar before. Uh, yeah, he worked on Pixar before, and all of that, but. Uh, 
He has never, he hasn't ever directed a film before. And this was his very first film he ever directed, and it passed over $1.66 billion. He might be proud of himself, I'm gonna say, but... Yeah, but, again, I'm just saying this out, okay? I, I, I just love the way how Inside Out 2 was made, and all that, how... And all that. The story goes like, Riley grows up, she's, uh, she is a hockey player, we saw that at the end of the first Inside Out, how she was a hockey player. She was playing hockey in order that, but yeah. But we all know in this film that she is a hockey player, officially, in order that. She was with her two friends, uh, Bree... Uh, Bree and... Oh, who was the other girl's name? Um... I don't remember, um... I, I recently just watched this Friday night. Uh, the time of this video, I see the Inside Out 2 on August 30th. On August 30th. Uh, um, um, let's see here. Um, I'm trying to figure my head. Uh, I know Bree is one of them. Uh, I can't remember her name. Um, let me go check. Her name was Grace. <laughs> I, I, I remember it was like something Grace, but, yeah, but, Grace, uh, Bree is Riley's friends when she was a kid, when she was like about 11 years old. She did have been friends for two years and all that. But when they grow up, like, when they grow up, uh, Again, what I said before, Riley is 13 in this movie, though, that. And one of the biggest things uh, that she really want to be a part of is a, a new character called Valentina. Valentina? I, 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 I think that's her name. But, but. Yeah, I think her name is Valentina. I, I, I think so. I, I, I think so. But. Yeah, but the interesting thing I really like about this is. She, Riley really wants to impress her and actually become a good hockey player. She wants to be a part of her team, which I don't remember what the team was called. Uh, but yeah, but the story is so good, so good storytelling and all of that. About Riley goes into, uh, going to high school and all of that, but yeah. But let's talk about, but yeah, and the whole entire story and what she is and all of that. But talking about the, the emotions. Exarity was fantastic. I love the way how they really worked on her character and all of that, how she's like, you know Wiley again, you know Wiley is now growing up. She's growing up now and she needs new emotions and all of that and all of that. Exarity is an interesting character for me that I'm like, how she took over uh, the, uh, when she took over headquarters, uh, uh, she was taking control of, of course, the headquarters and all of that. Uh, it was, like, really interesting uh, and all of that. Uh, it's really, really interesting about anxiety, and it's, it's really interesting and all of that. And then you have, of course, embarrassment, which embarrassment was, like, uh, Oh, embarrassment is like embarrassed, like shy, and all of that. That's what embarrassment really, really means, and all of that. And it was really interesting to have embarrassment in there, and yeah. Uh, and we is like bold and sarcastic, sarcastic, whatever how you say, whatever how you pronounce, whatever how you say the name, but yeah, the word and all of that. It's really, really interesting about her character and all of that. Envy, I don't really know what Envy, I don't remember what Envy, I think Envy was like, excitement, I, I think that's like excitement and all of that, I think it's, I don't really know, I, I don't really know a lot of what these emotions are and all of that, and all of that, and then of course you have because joy, anger, sadness, uh, disgust and fear and all of, fear and all of that, how anxiety took them to chill. Took them to like the fault and take them out of and of course we all know Exarity is the feeling of this movie. We all know she's the feeling of this movie and all of that. And all of that. And the interesting thing about this film is 
it's really it, it has a good story it has a great plot a good story has like one of the best plots that I have ever heard of for a long time and all of that uh, it's like it's a good uh, it's a it's just a fantastic it's just a masterpiece a fantastic and just an absolute awesome film and I just like I just love the way how this film was really made and all of that and this is peak of this is like one of the this is one of those films that they they can they can like, like I said this film well, like, like I said before guys there's not gonna be any animated film that's gonna pass uh, Inside Out two I don't even think Frozen three is gonna pass that but I do think Inside Out three will pass Inside Out two uh, why because uh, this is just that Inside Out three could make two billion dollars why because if the first if the second if the, if if this film made over one point sixty six billion dollars, that actually means that this could be a possibility that Inside Out Two, Inside Out Three would make more money than Inside Out Two. And all of that, I get. I absolutely love the way how they really did with this film, and all of that, and uh, and how they really really thought up the story idea of how. Uh, there's a new fit inside inside out too, how this of course a a a fitty in the middle in the back in the middle uh, that uh, is about putting together something how like you put together like friendship and all of that. It's really really it's really fun to really think about. It's really fun that uh, they actually really done that in this film and all of that. How uh, anxiety took that and it threw it away. Just throw it away, and the anxiety made a new film. How she's trying to make Riley's life worse. How she said that she's not good enough. How she's not good enough, and all of that. And at the end of the film, it would be really sit. It would be kind of put. It actually kind of put supper together at the end. How Joy said, like, you gotta let Riley go. You don't take care of her life. You don't choose her fate. Again, you don't choose Riley's fate, and you don't do that. That's one of the big things about this film that actually kind of make me feel like this film made me emotional. Like there's some sad things about this movie that made me like emotional, and it's like how good uh, these emotions can be, uh, and all of that. Uh, and I really like I love the first Inside Out film, and I love this film a lot. More and more that. And when Inside Out 3 comes out, and I think that movie is a masterpiece, I want to say that Inside Out might be the best animated trilogy of them all. Much more better than Toy Story. And all of that. But what I really hope, but what I really like about this movie is the way how they really put everything in and how they did all of that. And then, of course, when Joy, when Joy in them was. Outside headquarters and all of that, headquarters and all of that. How they went to the vault. There was like this fitty that, uh, there's like this fitty that Wiley watched when she was a little kid. There's, of course, this, uh, 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 this, uh, uh, fighting hero that Disgust absolutely loves. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, why? <laughs> But for me, I'm just saying this out because I come kind of, I get it. I get what this film is supposed to be. It's about uh, I get what this film is supposed to be about and all of that. I like the film a lot and I really enjoy the story and I really enjoy how this film really is. And I, of course, this is like one of my favorite movies of this year. This is one of my favorite movies of 2024 by far. I love the way how this film was put together and I love the way how this film was and all of that. And I really love the way how Joy is like, she doesn't really know what to do and all of that. And all of that. Sadness was, I love all the characters. I just love all the way how all the characters was and all of that. I really love the plot. I just love the way how Riley was like, hey, I'm with these new friends now. You have a good Joy who's like, hey, you have a good Choi who's like, we need to stick with Grace and Bree. We need to stick with those two. 
But Exarity was like, no, she needs new friends. She needs new friends uh, and all of that. Because what is okay? When Riley is in the school and when Bree and Grace moves into a different school, while Exarity is like, she needs new friends uh, because she needs new friends because she, because her other friends will be leaving her. Her other friends will be leaving her and all of that. Uh, and Riley will be all alone. Exarity is trying to uh, make friends, uh, trying to make new friends with Riley. And it's really interesting how, the way how this film uh, is, uh, and all of that. I love the way, I love all the ways about this movie. I just love the way how they really put the, the way, the way how they really make this film uh, so good, and all of that. And I think the actress who plays Riley is the same actress who plays Riley in Inside Out. If I remember correctly, I think it's the same actress, uh, but yeah, but yeah, but the, the thing I didn't really like that much about this movie is they would, they, they just removed, uh, they removed, uh, Bill Hader in this movie, who plays Ego. I love Bill Hader, I love Bill Hader, Bill Hader is Amazing. I love Bill Hader a lot. I like him as Flitlock, Flitlock in Cloud with the Chit and Meepas. I can't really enjoyed him as Guy. As Guy from uh, Turbo. I really like him in Isabel. Uh, Isabel. I really love Bill, Bill Hader in a lot of projects. And I really love him a lot in the first Inside Out. I don't know why in this film. I don't know why in Inside Out 2. Uh, Okay, I don't know why in Inside Out 2 that they had to be customer. It's probably because Bill Hader wants more money and all of that. I, I don't really know, but yeah. But now with Bob Iger back, back, Disney is probably going to be back on the shelves. And probably a lot of people will like Disney again. And all of that. Because when Bob Chipak was taking control of Disney, he's been ruined in Disney a lot more than it was. But now Bob Iger is taking over and trying to fix stuff. And that's what Bob Iger is trying to do right now, but yeah. But again, guys, I just, I get it. I just love the way how this film is in all of that, but yeah. But that's, but yeah, but the way how, I, the way how Exarity was trying to take over Wiley's mind, I was like, what is Exarity, what is Exarity, what is Exarity, Exarity, uh, again, what is Exarity doing up? What is she doing up? I'm like, she's just destroying uh, Wiley's life. And when uh, when uh, we have across the hotel Hout, it's supposed to be like the Hout, uh, not the so that video in the back in the middle, the hotel glowing video, that's actually the Hout. That's my that is actually like a big part and all that. Wiley is a good person. Wiley is a good person. Not a she's she's a good person. She's not a, she's not a, a bad person. She's not she's not a bad person. And all that. In the end, how they all all the emotions come together. Yeah, how all the emotions come together and actually put together Wiley. And all of that. It's just fantastic. It's a sad, great movie. And all of that. And it's just a fantastic, amazing film. That you can tell a wonder family. And you can show a wonder family. And they will really like it. It's just so good. Uh, that I don't really know. I don't really know. I, I'm i still trying to fit. Do I prefer uh, Inside Out 1? Or do I prefer the sequel? I don't really know, guys. But yeah, for me, I just love this film so much. I just love the way how to put this film together. Absolute masterpiece. Thank you so much, Pixel, and all of that. This film deserves that one billion bucks. This film deserves to pass the 2019 Lion King. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, this film is so good. It's going to pass the Lion King. It did, and it became the number one animated film of all time. Again, I don't think there's not going to be any other animated film that could pass that. Even I don't think Incredibles 3 could even pass that. Even if the Incredibles made over $1.24 billion back in 2018. 
But uh, I do believe that when Inside when Incredibles three comes out, which I don't, which I think Incredibles three will come out in. I think it might come out in June 2028. I think it might be coming out in June 2028. So I think there's a possibility that Inside Out 3 could possibly be released in 2027. Because I feel like Pixar really wants to get Inside Out 3 out of the way. I think they want to get Inside Out 3 as done as possible, as fast as, fast as possible. And all that. I think right now it's a. I think I have heard a rumor in, in a report that. I can take this with a grain of, take this with a huge grain of salt. Take this into like maybe like a cup of salt, like a uh, a cup of salt, and all of that. Uh, I have heard uh, that uh, Inside Out Three is in development right now, and uh, Pixar has not announced it yet. I have heard that yes, there's a brand new Inside Out Disney Plus show that's coming out on Disney Plus. Uh, Spring of next year, which I will make sure I get that review out for you guys soon enough, but yeah. But again, I, I will get that right now, but yeah. I love this film a lot. I love the way how, I just love Inside Out 2 a lot. And all of that, I just love the way, I just love the way. The ending of the movie made me cry. The ending of this film made me cry, just like the first one that made me cry. Just the way how this film really is and all of that. Again, Inside Out, fantastic. Inside Out 2, fantastic, amazing film and all of that. But yep, yeah, and all of that. And I'm actually going to end this with you. I'm going to actually end this with you up here, guys. Because I, I already talked about it a lot enough and all of that. And I've already been recording for like over 20 minutes or whatever. So I'm going to end this with you out here, guys. Again, I'm gonna give this film a ten out of ten. I'm gonna give this film a ten out of ten, ten out of ten. I'm gonna say I don't really know. I might give this one like a nine point five out of ten because I don't think this film is in my top ten favorite Pixar films of all time. But it is in my top ten. I don't know. It might be my top ten, top fifteen. I don't really know, guys. But I will make sure I do. I will make sure I get a Pixar waking video for you guys out as soon as I can. But yeah. But Inside Out 3, uh, Inside Out 2, but right now I'm going to make it a 9.5 out of 10. It's just a fantastic masterpiece. 9.5 out of 10, that's still a masterpiece. No, okay, I might give this one a 10, yeah, I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. It's a masterpiece, no, this is, yeah. Final score, give this one a 100% in my opinion. Critically, I'm going to give this one an A+. Plus. An amazing film, and I just love this film a lot. So yeah, I want to let you know, I want to let you guys know that my next Pixar review, when I get the time to watch it, I'll be reviewing you guys Monsters at Work season two. I haven't seen season two yet. I will make sure to give you guys that review out for you guys soon enough. And all that. So yeah, I want to let you guys know at the end of the year, they will be releasing all the episodes of Win of Lose. Win or lose, all the episodes will be dropping on December 6th. I think so. I think, oh, is it started? I don't really know. I think it's all the episodes at once. I don't, I think so. Yeah, it's all the episodes at once. But yeah. But again, guys, I am excited for the future of Pixar and all of that. But yeah. The next Pixar film is Ariel. Then uh, Hoppers, Toy Story 5. Probably Inside of 3, Incredibles 3. I'm still waiting for Cars 4 and all of that. But at the same time, I will make sure to give you guys a review out. But yeah, see so ya. Yeah. But I want to let you guys know that tomorrow I will be reviewing a Despicable Me 4. So I will make sure to get that one review out for you guys by tomorrow. So yeah. But I hope you guys do enjoy this spoiler overview. I hope you do enjoy this review of Inside Out 2. If you guys have, then hit that like button down below. Let's try to hit this video to 5. Likes, if we could do that, that would be amazing. Also, guys, if this is the first time here, then click that subscribe button down below. I need you guys' help. I'm trying to get this channel to 3,000 subscribers. So, if you guys can help me out with that, that would be amazing. We are getting so close. We only have like six, five more subscribers to go. So, if you guys could go down below and help me out with that, that would be amazing. Also, guys, hit that notification bell to never miss when I upload a video. Also, share this video with your friends and the family. And make sure you guys go down below and go subscribe to my two other channels. I need, I need, 
I need your help on my uh, second channel, which is my gaming channel. I am trying to get my gaming channel to three to one thousand subscribers by the end of twenty twenty four. So if you guys could go down below, drop down below in the description and go subscribe, go check out and go subscribe to my gaming channel. That would be amazing and all of that stuff. So yeah. Also, guys, make sure you guys go down below and go subscribe to my Christian channel. I need your help on my Christian channel. I'm trying to get my Christian channel to 3,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. So if you guys can help me out with that, that would be amazing. So, yeah. And all of that stuff. So, yeah. Stay tuned, guys. Uh, and also, so, yeah, guys. And also, guys, comment on this video. Say, comment, guys. Comment down below. Show me your thoughts about this movie. Give me your thoughts about this movie. Do you like the movie or do you not like it? Let me know down below in the comments. Share your review down below. Share like your whole time for thoughts. If it's a lot of child numbers comment, I will make sure I read it. So I make sure how you guys feel and all that. Give me your thoughts about this movie down below in the comments down below. So yeah. I, so yeah, guys. Stay tuned guys because tomorrow I will be with you in a Despicable Me 4. But the next Pixar with you will be Monsters at Work. Season 2, when I get to there, so yeah. Don't forget to go down below, click that subscribe button to join the Ninja Nation Army. And stick around, go check out more of my other videos. And I will see my Pixar and Inside Outfits next time. Peace.